Good morning. Thank you for staying with us. This is Y254 Breakfast Show. Time for career segment. Um, speaking to Monene Mofi, is a software engineer, and Mike Motune, theologian, and also an artist. My name is Dereva Hillary. Welcome to the program. Good morning, gentlemen. Y254 TV. Yeah, we speak to the young people, and especially when it's time for career, is where we try to shift their thinking, uh, maybe develop them or improve what they think, and especially when it comes to opportunities out here. And I want to begin with you, Moses. As a software engineer, how did you land yourself here? Um, well, number one, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Um, as an uh, so, growing up, I've always had uh, a thing for IT, electronics, and uh, initially I wanted to become an engineer. I had that passion, I even applied to be one um, at the University of Nairobi, um, but then again, something happened, and I got, I got a, I got uh, an application for mathematics and computer science. Mm -hmm. So my dad pushed me to do that, um, and I managed to become um, a computer software engineer mm -hmm. uh, by the end of 2015. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got myself in there. Mm -hmm. right. Now I'm doing my master's in social statistics, machine learning, mm -hmm. and creates AIs that will help us with different things. Well, uh, you just mentioned of one thing. Uh, you just mentioned of your father who pushed you to do what you do today. Now, looking back into time and maybe your future, yeah. uh, will, you, uh, will you credit your father for what he did or it was still in you? <laughs> Definitely I'll credit him because again, um, only from, from, from where I come from, they say that Ugali comes from flour. Mm -hmm. So I believe my dad saw something in me that I could do in IT. Mm -hmm. That's that, that is something that I should give him credit for. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, Mike, yeah. as a as a and as as an artist, how did you find yourself as an artist? Is this something you had been born? Um, uh, you were pushed by your parents. <laughs> okay. I think for me it's a very interesting journey because <laughs> um, uh, when I was young, I used to sing, but looking at life uh, i never took music seriously mm -hmm. it was like uh, you know how people treat mm -hmm. talent yeah people are like uh, you you should do some other different stuff mm -hmm. and i had i didn't bought into the idea mm -hmm. so i finished my high school and was i was going to get into a, a an engineering school mm -hmm. so but deep within i started feeling that i should go to a Bible school. So I went into a Bible school. Uh, definitely they trained me to become a preacher. But now my being a preacher evolved into using music to reach out to people. Wow. Yeah so uh, through music I founded a movement, a youth mm -hmm. movement called Street Praise International. Mm -hmm. We started like um, three years ago. Mm -hmm. It's now in two countries. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kenya and Uganda, Swaziland, they are also starting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we meet, we just meet in the open and we sing songs, we, we worship, mm -hmm. we praise in the streets. And people come, we share the word of God with them. Yeah. Uh, you two, you have mentioned something interesting when it comes to career choice and what you have chosen to be mm -hmm. and we have uh, this kind of our parents who are like ah, 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 usani mm -hmm. uh, kitambo I'd hear you know, Kora, you, know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you want to be a DJ you know DJ in what our clubs and you know, a parent I can't imagine a, yeah, kids becoming DJs you know that kind of a thing now this is the path that you chose and you're there mm -hmm. what is the notion what is the uh, comment, what, what comments come from people and especially your parents when they're like who is a engineer? Maybe a better engineer. Yeah, actually at first my parents thought I've wasted my life mm -hmm. when I took the, that path. Mm -hmm. But um, with time they have appreciated. Mm, they know appreciate. Uh -huh. No, no wing on Ezra Peleka Wow. Now, 
Uh, Moses, you have chosen uh, this part of being an a software engineer and you're planning even to upgrade the lessons now. Noting the opportunities out there and grabbing them is always difficult to some individuals. Uh, how have you planned yourself that uh, maybe by this time I'll have done this, by that time I'll have achieved that, and what strategies have you put in place? Um, number one, um, being a software developer, um, it's always getting innovative ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. You know, we are, we are live on camera because of a computer software somewhere doing something, mm -hmm. making all these cameras um, work and coordinating that is innovation mm -hmm. so for me i have been doing a payroll system for the past one year mm -hmm. for the past two years i'm also the ceo of uh, filamu mm -hmm. is a is a platform like uh, netflix or showmax and the likes mm -hmm. where you can watch your favorite movies and uh, tv shows mm -hmm. so uh, that is the current project that i'm holding right now and uh, it's 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 doing something great um, but until maybe in the next two years, I want to be done with my, my studies in the master's, then probably do a PhD later on, and so on and so forth. So there are strategies as to how I want to evolve. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Ma Mike, you identified a niche in the art industry and you chose, you have even come up with your own, uh, just like... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Moses here with his innovation, you have come up with a team. Mm -hmm. uh, this team that you're planning to expand, well, uh, maybe the whole world, mm -hmm. even a chance. Mm -hmm. What plans have you in mind that I know this is a chance? Now, Mesha Ipata, Oshanza Peka, say them in Kakati, to ensure that maybe your plan has come true. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what could be this thing that you have planned on? First, I'm a recording artist. So, um, one thing is uh, about music. If you create good content, <laughs> you will you are able to reach a lot of people. The first thing uh, I always tell people: don't mm -hmm. think about the money you'll get about mm -hmm. music. Think about uh, the impact what you're singing has, what what you sing or mm -hmm. what you say or the message that you, you are passing across has. Mm -hmm. Then when you work on that, the rest of the things mm -hmm. will, will just roll in mm -hmm. slowly by slowly. All right, I have to, to, to challenge you on this. You, you realize there are millions and millions of artists out here. Mm -hmm. What makes or what will make you stand out amongst them all? Wow, that's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, actually, that, that is a, one, a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to art or music, mm -hmm. the thing that makes you stand out is building original content and your style. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if what you build, you just copy from other people. You listen to someone's song, mm -hmm. then you just twist it, and then you create your own song, then you have, you, it's, it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. But when you're original, mm -hmm. You will just be yourself. Your staff will just stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that basically means it has to be a gift and a talent at the same time. You yeah. can sing and, of course, you can write your own music. Yeah. And maybe define your own tunes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Moses, skills. identifying skills, mm -hmm. like you just mentioned of computers and all that. People go to school. Like you have mentioned you in school, you are taught how to do this and that and how to maybe come up. But when it comes to innovation, it's basically upon you. Yeah. Now imagine a situation where someone, they are good in what they have been told. Theoretically, they are okay. But when it comes to uh, technical works and uh, practicals, they are not there. How do you help these people? Um, I believe uh, in the discussion. Mm -hmm. um, in IT, we have a lot of things to do. There's networking, <laughs> there's software, there's hardware. There are all these things where you can do and put your innovations in. Mm -hmm. um, I had um, a taste in most of these different uh, mm -hmm. places of doing uh, innovations. In. Mm -hmm. 
I've worked in the hardware sector, I've worked in the network sector, the center uh, sector. Mm -hmm. I've also worked now uh, in software. Mm -hmm. The reason why um, I have chosen software again is because of the passion. After checking all those things everywhere, where do I feel I'm most comfortable in? And mm -hmm. that's where you get your plan. Mm -hmm. That is how I believe I got me. All right. Now, I, I, I want just to begin with you, when you um, through the innovations that peop, you people uh, managed to come up with, the, the laws of Kenya. Uh -huh. Are there policies that protect you people, and if they are there, are they adhered to? Now, the laws of Kenya um, are, are good, <laughs> but in IT, there's a lot of gray area. Mm -hmm. So, for um, an example, <laughs> if any, <laughs> they are, they are, you see, it's <laughs> like, um, let's take an instance of, uh, you remember when Uru was saying um, people should declare their wealth, mm -hmm. but there was no framework towards that. Right. That is someone you can call a gray area. Mm -hmm. In uh, what we are calling the digital tax right now, mm -hmm. which will be implemented from January next year. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of things that people do online, the selling, the buying, and it is untaxed. Now, that is a gray area as well. So, mm -hmm. the, it, now it's when the government is realizing that there is so much work that is going on online, mm -hmm. and they are creating those inkakatis, like you say, mm -hmm. to try and put regulations towards some of these things. Mm -hmm. I think there is the network bureau which deals with um, how much bandwidth maybe you can sell out and all these things. Mm -hmm. So kuna mikakati, mm -hmm. but then again there are some places where there are the areas. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I, I know my you, you have to agree with me in the music industry kuna kibao and what you do which changed. Um Okay, one thing that uh, affects us, like for me, for street praise, mm -hmm. is the issuance of permits. Right. Nowadays, for you to get the permit to do an event, mm -hmm. an outdoor event, mm -hmm. is very complicated. In Especially with the COVID. Not yeah, even without the COVID, mm -hmm. the police are really against public gatherings. Right. Very much against. Mm -hmm. Actually, if it is a church public yeah, uh, outdoor gathering mm -hmm. and we need to do those concerts out there mm -hmm. so they will just complicate a lot of things about um, giving you the permits mm -hmm. so you, you you're saying if it's a secular world they easily allow they easily. but yeah, when it comes to church yeah, yeah. if if it is safari mm -hmm. they will tell you we don't give permits and tomorrow you will find uh, safari doing an event at archives Mm -hmm. So you'll wonder which which procedure was used because they say we don't we are not gonna do an event because there is a, a terrorist threats mm -hmm. or um, right now COVID right now they are saying COVID <laughs> before COVID they were saying <laughs> terrorism but you will still find Safaricom and other big corporates doing events mm -hmm. and gathering people. Mm -hmm even politicians. Yeah. So you'd wonder why are they denying us the permits mm -hmm. to, to do those things. Uh, now that you're mentioning the challenges, have you maybe tried to work with um, church leadership in the country, there are councils, have you tried to work with them to see how easy it can be for you to have a gathering? Like uh, we have the NCCK, I know they are for big churches, so some would say that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have other churches, of course, they have their own councils, they meet and they, they push the government to allow them to do some, some things here and there. Mm -hmm. Have you, maybe with your own team or maybe through your church, have you tried to use them? Yeah, we have tried, but um, the idea of like what we do, street praise, mm -hmm. going out to the street and to do a concert mm -hmm. in the street, it's a new idea. <laughs> Most of these churches are happy with people inside the church. <laughs> uh -huh. So when you go to them with an idea of doing an outside thing for young people, mm -hmm. they are—it's—it's—it's—it's uh, not—it's—it's mm -hmm. it's not familiar. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. How about Kutubia halls? Because I know there are social halls, especially here in Nairobi. Mm. Have you tried to use the social halls? Yeah, we do concerts. We do a lot of indoor stuff. Okay. So out <laughs> don't you attack a crusade? They don't. And actually, we are not doing crusades. We mm -hmm. are doing music co concerts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And out, out, outside, the results are really mm -hmm. good. Okay. Moses, what, what would you say are some of the challenges that you have faced in this particular industry? Mm. One thing uh, Kenyans have, have still not yet um, acknowledged um, build Kenya quite um, There are still some of the things, mm -hmm. um, very good solutions in the country. Mm -hmm. Very good, I can guarantee you that much. Mm -hmm but it hasn't been appreciated by the mm -hmm. Um When you get a good product, which is acceptable in the country, mm -hmm. by the country, um, we are a step forward. What we are going to do is at the western side, unfortunately. <laughs> mm, truly? Um, yeah, Kenya is good. I, I, I want to get maybe a specific challenge you faced with your uh, your innovation. Yeah. How is the reception out here? And maybe what have you planned on to improve if you have received comments from yeah. uh, the same? Now, uh, for those who have actually subscribed and watched the platform, mm -hmm. They love it, I can guarantee you that much. They love it. They continue um, giving and encouraging me personally, mm -hmm. writing to me, text, and uh, calling even for outdoor events. And we just talk about the content, mm -hmm. the platform, looking for new ways every day to make it better. Mm -hmm. um, the reception to those who have actually used the platform is superb. Mm -hmm. But Kabla Utoe in Kenya, your person. But mm -hmm. when you comparison with other mm -hmm. um, platforms, Utaona, mm -hmm. um, there's a difference. Uh, I have to mention this you're competing with the uh, international platforms like yeah. the Netflix and uh, Showmax. Mm -hmm. And here locally, I know there's few Sasa. So, <laughs> how, how is the ground for you? Um, it's looking quite nice. Um, there is a lot of potential in Kenya. Mm -hmm. What would do, you know, with the penetration of internet, mm -hmm. um, in a make it, you know, the solution is supposed to make Kenyan life at least a bit easier. So, to Napatiana, the platform at, at a very affordable rate. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. I can guarantee you something nice is coming. All right, Mike, you you have come up with your own team and it is spreading across the world. What are some of the challenges you went through or you're going through and have you thought of any remedy to the problem? Okay. Um, somehow, oh, when you go to sing in the street, <laughs> many people don't. Sometimes they don't know what you're singing with the songs. Mm -hmm. And um, so we end up singing the normal, normal songs, <laughs> normal songs. But from next year, we are gonna we we we'll work out on something and do choirs and <laughs> and um, bring in a lot a lot more guys and <laughs> do a different blend of stuff. When you say no more songs, are you saying uh, the songs that we uh, sing from abroad? We have the, the hill song songs, and then we have the culture. Or in this is upper uh, Kwetu, which which no more songs? Yeah, the Kawaida Pambios. Okay. Yeah, and again, our movement is a uh, is is like it's it's not a profit making organization. Uh -huh. So we are trusting God to get people who can support us to do what we're doing. Yeah, because I wanted to ask that if, if if I know I can sing, I can sing, and then I come to Shinde Nanini, then thank you for coming. <laughs> As a young person, I'm like, the whole day. <laughs> yeah, so what mm -hmm. we do, uh, we, 
We only sing in the in the evening mm -hmm. from six to seven. Mm -hmm. Fridays at Kencom. So we allow you to work during the day, mm -hmm. and we we meet in the evening. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can meet earlier for rehearsals, but again we we are that place whereby we need partners, mm -hmm. we need people to come. All right, I. When people come, mm -hmm. now that you yourself you sing, when people come, do you identify talents within there and maybe you do collabs with them or bring them to you? Have you done music with them, the people you have identified? Um, when people come, we identify their gifts, mm -hmm. we give them a chance to, to do their thing and stuff happens. Again, we also do charity work. We feed people in the street. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we feed, every Friday we feed people in town. All right, maybe as we conclude, um, in terms of mentorship, Moses, and uh, trying to gain more knowledge other than from school, how, how, how do you indulge yourself from away from books, now you're in the field, and not relying on your own knowledge now that you have acquired some? Mm -hmm. how, how, how have you created your network? Um, I, I have good good uh, a good circle of people I can call it because mm -hmm. for everyone who I believe is watching me right now mm -hmm. uh, someone who has given me an advice mm -hmm. I'm a very thin um, noter mm -hmm. is such a word mm -hmm. um, I listen and I I act to what I've, I've learned mm -hmm. um, my greatest mentor being my dad mm -hmm. um, can guarantee you that listening to the elder people from our place again they say um, I'm a, a child mm -hmm. of a tree mm -hmm. um, sees something close but what a father or a <laughs> uh, can sit down mm -hmm. is with a father True. so I believe in a circle of young mm -hmm. Uh, uh, right, but but how, how did you get to choose them? Because I know this is a big problem to many people. It's 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 all about it's giggle, garbage in, garbage out. So, mm -hmm. um, like I said, kuskiza and askiza. Now, how I'll act to the way kuskiza. If it is good for me, then I take it. If it is not good for me, mm -hmm. then I leave it. And that one is just a way of life. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, and finally, Mike, where do you draw your strength from? <laughs> okay, um, I have people I look up to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have ministers, music, people who create music I look up to. Mm -hmm. And music, basically, you can never sing beyond what you have heard, so you make sure you are getting swallowing in good content and, mm -hmm. and good stuff okay. so as to be able to to produce <laughs> to produce good mm -hmm. but um i would like to say something outside what um, what about outside music mm -hmm. because this is a career talk right i would like for to to challenge our young people to embrace creativity creative thinking or progressive thinking mm -hmm. Because that's where the developed nations began from. The people started imagining things. The, in, the world we have today, the industrialized world we have today, was an imagination, it was a thought. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for, to challenge people to start seeing and visualizing and think, seeing things that are not there. Mm -hmm. Because in the future, those things will become a reality. And also for our leaders to mm -hmm. support our young people in whatever things that Oh, wow, well, fair enough. I need not to add anything you have heard. They have been my guest, Moses Monene. He's a software engineer and Mike Motune, theologian and of course an artist. And that has been a career segment. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, tomorrow, Y254 TV will be giving will be awarding the winner of Christmas activation with 2005. Hey, hey. 
Kini isi ni more bundles kadha. 2,500 gift hampers. And the question we were asking is, you name all drama programs airing on Y254 currently. The question again was, name all drama programs airing on Y254 currently. And... Yes, Zawadi na piano kesho. Stay tuned, you see who has won. And if you have been a loyal viewer of Y254 TV, you should be knowing all these things. I want to appreciate you for having a, a good follower following us for the rest of 2020 amid COVID-19 pandemic. And since this is why in the morning Monday breakfast a show where we speak about politics and current affairs, I may not have another time to wish you Merry Christmas. So I'm doing it here and now Merry Christmas to you and your families. I'll be seeing you again next month, which is 28th, but not so much. So enjoy your Christmas holidays. See you again in the next year. Bye. My name is Adelaide. Good morning.